Hi guys, uh, it's Aegis here, and today I'm going to uh, showcase another premium deck, which will be uh, Tachikaze. Uh, I've been playing this deck for uh, quite a while and having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm also going to build another Tachikaze build, but I'm going to showcase this one first, since I've tested it and I'm having fun with it. So, uh, it's good to go. So let's go through it. Uh, Sonic Vanguard, uh, Baby Terra, your Grave Researcher is quite key in this deck because um, you always need to uh, find the right bravery for yourself, even though it's just uh, looking at top 5 for another chance, but more chance is better than less. So I'm using that. And then uh, I'm running 4 of the Anger Blader. It's not limited in premium, so you can always use four angle blader. Uh, of course, you can just play it as your usual angle blader build. But I have been using other great freeze as well, uh, so it's more than just a uh, angle blader brush. But uh, you know what it does. And I'm running two of the chaos dragon Dino Chaos. Uh, it's searchable. From your baby Terra, you know, another chance. If you go first, uh, of course you always have your uh, anger blade and push way to win. But uh, at the same time, you can also uh, superior ride into Dino Chaos. So when your opponent is on grade two, you can strike already. Which uh, with Gantry Raptor gets into play, uh, I think it's easier for you to win. Because your manga power is higher and you can just retire when you stand your stuff so that way it's better it's, you always see Dino Chaos uh, being available in premium so that you can do a uh, faster strike option so that's why I'm also trying to uh, implement this idea into this build and uh, lastly, I'm running one of the Dark Rags because um, for a few reasons. One, uh, as long as it is in the drop zone, I can uh, call it or ride it. If I didn't ride, I have a great deal of high Vanguard and I'm willing to uh, kill two of my gauges. And he always gain power from your gauges. So you always want more attackers and something that you can recycle unless you're facing some uh, clans that are going to banish the lead uh, buying your stuff as long as they just put him in the drop zone you can always reuse it and since it's a great free that can come back uh, you can just feel free to use it as a strife order and uh, recycle it next turn and then enter on grade twos since we are running Anger Blader, then we, of course, we have our Sweepers, uh, main attackers, uh, nothing much to say. Giga Rex, uh, uh, Mega Rex, not Giga Rex. Also, attackers allows you a chance to draw, allows you to have chances to build more gauges and even become more powerful, uh, allows you to eat some of your regard so you can do some comboing uh, with the gauges free cats uh, help you get more uh, gauges two bright tops you just want to have more resources to use and you can eat it with uh, your mega rags you can eat it with your great force that have a gorge so that you can recycle and you can always use scan drafter to put cards under this card so you can uh, get it back to your hand because sometimes if you put a lot of pgs to your drop zone already then uh, strike into your scan drafter call your bite off put all your pgs there because you can pick two up by counter blasting one then eat it with a mega rex or even call over counter blast get your stuff back so very, very helpful and another key card, uh, Savage Academia. In in this build, it's a Monster Reborn. Uh, I've explained in my uh, 
other video when GenTraptor's info is released before this uh, premium collection is out. With GenTraptor, since you can pick what you want from the drop zone, it's like Bright Tops, but Bright Tops gets stuff back to your hand. Uh, Academian, as long as you put gauges under her, you just you can just so blast and rest her to go, uh, call one of these out once per turn. Uh, it's not exactly once per turn, but since you need to rest her, so in a way it's a once per turn. That uh, allows you to uh, recycle the sweepers, recycle your mega racks, or even prepare bright top sports uh, in another turn. Or when you are lacking uh, some regards to kill, then you can always put something back under her. So blast, rest her, and call the unit out so you have more units to kill if you need. And then let's enter our grid ones. For grid ones, I'm running uh, two of the troopers. Since I'm running sweepers, I do want more attackers. I have mega racks, I have sweepers, and also have troopers. In two of these, getting your gauges sometimes to gain power uh, is kind of a once per turn, but as long as this card is on the field, you can keep doing it. Uh, for a power uh, you always want to have more power for your uh, troopers, for your mega, uh, mega racks, for your sweepers, and also once uh, other regards that doesn't gain power through gauges also have a chance to hit. Then there you go. Two Sword Ignore uh, allows you to sometimes, if you want to kill a stuff, you have a chance to do that. Uh, if you are lacking gauges, just by boosting, you can give the boosted unit gauges. So, always good to pair with sweepers and uh, troopers. Three of these racks uh, again help you gain gauges. And as long as this card is dead, you can so blast one and get that back. So also some more resources building. Don't have to explain much. For uh, triggers, I'm running four of the uh, strike for triggers since I'm running seven great freeze. Uh, I do want more chances to have strike cards in hand without uh, dropping like two cards. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't, but I want to give my sample options. And since I'm running uh, 8 crit anyway, so it's always good to have those, those uh, strike for the crits. And then I'm using the uh, previous premium collection crit because uh, I need a lot of souls. I want to draw, I want power, so it's there. And then uh, 4 of the uh, draw PG. And four of the new hills, the ever hills, so you always have high defensive triggers to protect yourself. Yeah, so let's enter our G zone and see what we play there. Now, for G zone, uh, since the new premium collection is out, so I'm playing two of the Gantry Raptor. Uh, I think two is enough, it's like an uh, anger blader. You don't need to do that so many turns. And if you are doing that so many turns, you're probably dead, so <laughs> you won't last that long. So you just need two of these. And running four of the uh, Nebros, because you will be flipping through a uh, Gantry Raptor, you will be flipping through itself. So it, depending on the situation, if you think your high power regards is going to win for you win your games? Go for Gantry after go for uh, your angle later. But if you have a bad hand, or if you know you are not going to have enough gauges to push through, then have your neighbors there. Uh, allows you to restand as long as you pay the cost five regards uh, and or gauges and one for engorge you at least can kill two of your opponent's regards and allows you to stretch her six times you may get a draw there and uh, since it's got an active skill to soul blast to give your uh, 
regards the gauge and make it engorge. So more copies is needed. And then I am running two of the uh, Gaia Devastate uh, is here mainly against Link Joker because that is a match that I play when I'm using the Link Joker build that uh, I had before you can check that out as well uh, when I lock my opponent's build usually uh, they are just going to sit there and see their regards being banished delete but Gaia Devastate ruins that ruins that path yeah, ruins that plan instead because uh, it eats stuff on the circle so it's, even if it's a lock card you can just eat it make sure your room is empty and as long as you have uh, a card to let it eat to become engorged you can clean your whole field and you can also allows you to clean your opponent's field so always good to have and gains you drive, gains you crit, gains you power sometimes that just helps push through and then I am running uh, two of the uh, Gaia Dynast another unit that uh, got engorged so your uh, bright hops can just be like just ate by Gaia Dynast or devastate for the skill at the same time you can uh, one clean the fo clean the board with guy never stay gain drive gain crit by re also recycling your stuff or use guy never stay uh, clean some board and uh, reborn your stuff also to uh, pick up your like gauges so you when you coin your bright tops you can stock new gauges again sometimes I find that uh, useful and since you uh, can do multiple attacks with Gaia Dynast sometimes the extra attack matters so uh, it's a toolbox giving myself different options I'm running uh, two of the Gaia Devastates uh, and two Gaia Dynast and then I'm running one of the uh, Planet Gated Dragon just in case if I need to do some free, stri free stride but uh, in order to do that, I need to ride on my uh, anchor blader and using another anchor blader as a strike cost, so it's not always going to happen. Which also is the same to uh, Dragma. Both of these is when I feel I got nothing to do, then I can use these guys. But normally, I will just be using these sets and they should do the job. And for G Guard, I'm running. Uh, one of the normal just game power G guard as long as you have less regards the opponent easy to use uh, two of this so that you can uh, kill one of the stuff gain shield and uh, also allows you to protect some of the regards and a G regards uh, a G guardian so that you can have high defensive power but uh if you really, for example, if you can't afford these guys, or uh, if you feel they are here not doing much for you, you can always switch them to uh, GB8 uh, to create elementals, G guard, so that you can ditch your card and draw one if you need. Uh, yeah and you can maybe use another extra copy of these so there's a lot of options that you can do but for now uh, I'm just going to put them there and of course and other uh, ways that I can make use of my dragma is when I really don't want to flip these guys through these guys sometimes that happens it's like I do want to keep myself some uh, room for more Nebrios turn because I will be uh, using this flip one and I might go this but I at the same time do want to keep myself more chances to use and I don't want to flip my Gantry I can always 
fit my track mark. But uh, if you really think that's a waste, you can put your GBA there. Uh, it's not going to hurt. It's optional, so this two is up to you. But Pranagator Dragon, I think it's still good to have because it helps you to basically counter charge all and allows you to uh, stride as long as you stride it once, you don't need to pay the cost again. So you can put your uh, crit freeze as attackers, you can uh, put your crits as a defensive trigger, so you can have more shield value in hand and don't need to drop them all. So uh, what this stack game flow will be is first you ride into any great ones, take a hit, next turn, uh, ride whatever great twos, search if you are going first my suggestion will be uh, Dino Chaos because you can uh, superior ride it right away as long as you have two cards to kill but of course if you don't have your two cards to kill then don't pick it unless you uh, don't even have a choice then you can ride your uh, Anger Blade the next turn and do whatever you usually do but if you uh, can superior ride right into your Dino Chaos when you're going first when your opponent is great too then which you will have uh, for example one dead uh, one dead like that just for superior riding and next turn you will uh, maybe ride another Angle player if you need a marker, but if not, you can just uh, discard it. Let's try it again, Raptor. And now you have three cards from the drop zone. Uh, imagine you never got before you get here. You never get healed when you get here. Then you have three cards ready. Then you can call your sweepers to put this in. You can call your bright tops store something. You can call your troopers to uh, get the gauges. You can call your bright tops. You can uh, call your academian. You can do want to do some monster rebound. So you can do a lot of things with your gauges, and it's quite easy if you superior ride with uh, Dino Chaos. Then you already have like three cards ready. What you need to do is just try it against your actor. Pull this free customer drop zone on your regards so you can uh, use them as attacker you can uh, stock them for recycling a lot of things and you just do basically your no anger blader or can trap the action and restand your stuff uh, make sure you flip at least one never also starting from next turn as long as you so last you have a gauge and you have some engorge units and from there, next try, if you think your uh, regards high power attacks going to win you games, go for Gantra Raptor. If you have a bad hand, go for Nebrios and see if you can push them uh, like very very hard. So it will be like that or that, right? And you still probably have uh, two of your uh, Nebiros if you still need to do something, or maybe you still have a catcher after it. Yeah. But next, you can, depending on situation, if you need to use Gaia Devastate, you can use your Gaia Dynast to do different things. So, your first try is basically. First try, yeah, first try is fixed with one of these. Which of course you will be flipping one of the Nebiros and next you are open to all of these already. So you already have your GB3, you can use that. Uh, this you don't actually uh, need to have GB, but the more uh, Face of Jason card you have, the more units that you can hit. So won't be your first draw option, which is very, very nice that we have. From in the past, we usually just strike into Nebiros and do a lot of things, try to withstand, and that sometimes might be a waste. But now we have Gantraptor, 
that can recycle gauges from drop uh, we can do high power attacks because your anger blader will not only be 12k now it's 27k now uh, even your Dino Chaos is with the help of Gantry Raptor is now a uh, 25 so it's more easy to kill your opponents need to drop a lot more hands to guard and since if you are going first you do your superior ride draw points is not going to use uh, able to use any G guards so that will also help you to win there yeah so uh yeah i think that's basically it for this deck profile it's uh quite easy to pilot uh because you just need to make sure you push every single turn and it's not too expensive to build except these two probably going to cost you a little bit more on both Japanese and English but uh, again if you can't afford this you always have your GBH you always have other G guards and this is uh, not going to cost you a lot unless you are like me uh, like getting the uh, gold stamp versions for these getting SP for these but if not it's not going to cost you a lot and it's a fun deck to play is uh, I won't say it's ultimate strong but it got its chances to have a win games and give you different options to do your stuff and compared to in the past when you just keep putting a lot of gauges onto your field and just seeing all your key units get in under the gauges and like I'm never going to get a chance to use them again now you have a uh, better chance through Bright Tops, through Academia you can recycle your stuff accurately so I think that is really helpful uh, yeah so that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching guys I probably will have a fight video relating to this deck uh, it's not ideal, I will see if I can uh, get another try but before that I will show that one first since it's also uh, related to my Dimension Police build so I will put that up and stay tuned for that if you want to see how this deck runs uh, of course it's a kind of a bad matchup but we always need to challenge ourselves with some bad matchups and see how we can get from there and again, I will be uh, making another uh, Tachikaze build, which likely you're going to focus on uh, on Gaia, on uh, Death Rex, or maybe Giga Rex, this kind of build. So we'll be utilizing Nebridos a little bit more that way, but it's more uh, requiring more skills because you need to be very, very clear on what you're doing every single move, every single attacks, how to do um, multiple attacks how to recycle your stuff correctly, re reborn your stuff co correctly that's a lot of things but I'm still working on that but yeah, uh, stay tuned and I will have that ready and uh, we are going to have our new Gaia in a few months so I will be building that on standard as well I'm going to make some premium build on it as well probably if it's uh, workable but usually it will be so just stay tuned for that yeah so yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys in the next video signing off